Hey, what's up everybody? My name is King Z. Welcome back to the Empire. If this is your first time here. Welcome in. I hope you enjoy your stay. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you do, make sure to check out the rest of the series and consider subscribing. So last episode, we got the gatehouse finished and I think it came out really great. It really sets the tone for how this castle is going to look here in the future. And that's uh, great and also a little bit daunting on my task trying to create the rest of this castle. We're probably going to be working on the entrance here a little bit more. I want to get these two towers here done and then work on a little bit of the wall section. Maybe do a little bit more planning on the interior of the castle trying to figure out what buildings are going to be where and what is going to be a building and what is not what's going to be a room and what is not and what all goes into a castle so we're going to do a little bit of learning today i did do a little bit of path work here i got kind of like a little bit of a, a courtyard set up here it still needs a little bit more work and then i also took the liberty of making these walls here up front too thick so i got this one too thick i got that one too thick and i got it too thick all the way up to there yeah all the way to right there and my idea behind that is maybe having a too thick wall here will give me a little bit more room to texture and to detail a little bit. I might not keep it. I might switch it up. I might change my mind and go with a one thick wall just to give myself a little bit more room to work with in the interior of the castle, but we'll kind of figure out as we go here. Uh, one thing we need to do though, I talked about it at the end of last episode when I was talking about the texture pack world, but the last thing I mentioned in that world was we need to update to 1.14. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to roll this world over to a 1.14 world. And the next time I see you guys here in Kingsley's Empire, it's going to be a whole new game. All right. And just as easy as that we are in a 1.14 world i did have to do a little bit of resource maneuvering i had to use the old texture pack on top of the new texture pack and then i used my custom texture pack because the cobblestone was the new the new version of the cobblestone but it didn't have the variants in it like the texture pack that i used does so it has like that cobblestone and that cobblestone in my pack but it didn't have it when it was just using the new the new version of the cobblestone as a base so that was a quick little easy fix but let's go ahead and try to do something that i've been wanting to do here for a little while we need our ourselves a stone cutter so how do we make this iron and three stone i think we can do that piece of iron three stone and there we go we got ourselves our very first 1.14 crafting table crafting mechanic block i don't know i don't know what we call this thing but it is a stone cutter and we have one so we're gonna be using this thing like crazy mainly just because i want to be making all of these new blocks like oh look at that how many can we make you can only get wait oh just one for one? No way. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Okay. You get one for one of these, but look at this. We're going to be using these walls like crazy. And then also these guys, these guys are going to come in handy for terraforming andesite walls, uh, andesite stone slabs stairs. Oh, you get two from that. That's convenient. Yeah. That's really nice. But yeah. We're going to be using these so much like Oh, so amazing. This is amazing. This is not real Minecraft, is it? Did we just, uh, do we finally get everything we ever wanted as builders? I think we did. This looks really janky and weird. I just want to set the blocks down, you know? I haven't used them yet. This is my first time playing with these blocks. So now that we got this thing, which is really awesome, it's also a very cool textured block, I would say. Let me, uh, just place this down somewhere. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to work on this tower here. I'm gonna get a little bit of a base done, kind of get it done shape-wise what I want it to be. I'm probably gonna thin out the top a little bit, similar to this, make the, the bottom a little bit wider, possibly i'll bring you guys back in i'm not gonna mess with that tower i might do a time lapse on that tower i'm not totally sure just yet but we need to do a little bit more planning in this world like i said we want to get an idea of what's going on inside the castle done at least so i'm gonna do a little bit of research i'm gonna do a little bit of building and when i come back i'll show you guys what the tower looks like and hopefully i'll have a little bit of a better layout for you guys as well so i'll see you in just a little bit 1.14 everybody it's crazy okay welcome back guys i've been doing a little bit of work here on the tower i've kind of shaved it down on the top similar to this one and then i brought it down a little bit adding a little bit of flare there and then all the way down making it larger as it goes down i think i'm at a point where i can add the texture now and i can make things look a little bit more like this tower i still need to work on the wall and i've actually changed it back to a one thick wall because i think it's going to work a little bit better and then i can put the top on these guys and i think i can call them good another thing i've been working on is the planning here kind of changed a little bit you can see we got this guy pushed way further up i wanted to make this actually a storage area so kind of like a warehouse and then i'm also possibly going to put a blacksmith like opened up right here and leading on to this side as well just so the blacksmith has some access to the the wares the ores or whatever is going to go inside the warehouse i'm possibly going to be getting rid of this section here cutting it off to right about here moving it all the way over to that tower there i'm not really sure what i'm going to do over here i might keep it i might circle it out a little bit wider or i might totally cut it off and just have the wall start right about here and we can have an access point to get there over the top of this 
wall here. But I'm going to leave that for a later episode. You guys are like rapidly catching up with me as far as uploads go. I'm going to be uploading episode 10 tomorrow. Episode 11 will probably come out this weekend. And this is episode 12. So you guys are pretty close. We'll be doing about one episode a week after that. If I can do more, I'll do more. But right now I'm just going to limit myself to at least getting one episode out a week for you guys and see if I can keep up with that schedule. Next thing here I've been working on, I pushed this, I pushed this pretty far forward as well. I'm going to have a nice little walkway up here where you move the tower out of the way or move the tower down this way a little bit. And then I've also gotten rid of this bottom section. So there's no more gatehouse going to be here. It's just going to be a standalone tower with the rest of the actual castle forming right around this. And I'm thinking these are going to be walls leading up. I'm not sure how high just yet. I want to make it like overbearing. So when you're coming up here, you see a bunch of windows, a bunch of doors, whatever it's going to be. Two small towers here. They're going to be integrated into the building. Or I was thinking this will just be another gate into the actual courtyard of the main part of the castle. Right now, I'm thinking this is going to be just a main opening to the building. And this is going to be all building over here. I'm possibly going to be putting something over the top of this warehouse. Um, so this is going to be more underground than anything. But that's kind of where I'm at right now. And I don't know how well the planning is going to go. Like I said, this is my first castle. This is probably the furthest I've gotten on a castle so far. I've, I've actually done like walls all the way around a castle, but I've never gotten even this close to getting anything planned out. Once we get a few castles under our belt, we'll attempt to do the giant castle that's going to be over there. I think after we get this one done, we're going to do a few small hamlets and then move on to maybe another bigger city, do another castle, do another fortress, something like that. I'm having a lot of fun with this castle so far, and it's been it's been a, a big learning process, honestly. Once I get this thing under my belt, I think I'll be a little bit more ready to go for the next castle. I'll have some, something to look back on at least. One other thing I want to mention I'm super excited about is 1.14.2 replay mod actually just came out. It's going to be the only mod you'll ever see me use in Minecraft. I like to keep everything vanilla, minus the texture pack, of course. But the replay mod's coming out, and I'm going to be able to do a whole lot better time lapses for you guys. You're going to be able to see me building up close. I'm going to be able to do voiceovers over some buildings. I'll be able to do some pretty awesome tutorials for you guys. I did promise a tutorial for one of my subscribers. I'm going to get that out to you, man. I showed the build of the windmill already in a time lapse form, but that's not good enough. I want to get you something where I'm actually speaking through it, showing you step by step how to build the tower, how to build the sails and all that stuff. I'm, I'm sure if you're a smart guy, you built it just fine, but I want to get something out there a little bit more detailed for you. And the replay mod is definitely going and allow me to do some cool stuff. So I'm really excited to see if I can get that thing going. I've got everything loaded in. It runs, it boots up, but the problem I'm having is getting the actual replays to save in the correct files so that I can edit them in Minecraft. It's it's a weird process. If you ever use the replay mod, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, maybe I can explain it at some point. But right now I'm just trying to tweak things, get things going, seeing if I can get them in the right places. So I'll have to mess with the files a little bit more, see if I can't get the, the mod to work correctly. And if I do, I might be able to do a pretty cool time lapse. Not of this tower. I'm thinking I'm going to, I'm going to solidify how this thing's going to look, and then I'll probably get that tower done in a time lapse, regardless of whether the replay mod is working correctly or not for me. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Hopefully you guys like the progress so far. I'm going to see if I can get this tower done, and I'll see you guys in a few. There's the tower complete. It's actually one block taller than this gatehouse tower here. And it looks kind of strange that it's like basically a twin of the tower or the gatehouse towers. But I think it'll look fine once the actual walls are in place and we have some buildings in here and stuff on the outside. And we can detail some of the outsides of the walls here with some vines, some leaf blocks, all that good stuff. I moved this wall back a little bit and I'm still thinking about moving this tower back a little ways as well. But I'm not totally sold on it just yet. And I'm also not totally sold on how I was ending the tower down here I think I might bring it up a few more blocks to be more even with those guys and just have it integrated more into the terrain using a little bit of a stone base down here just to make it look a little bit better in the world give it like a, an actual footing for the ground I'm gonna do something similar over here and what I'm actually gonna do I got the replay mod to work did a test did a render everything looks fine so I'm actually gonna jump into a time lapse with you guys now we're gonna finish out this portion of the wall we're also gonna finish this tower and this portion of the wall and while you guys are watching the time lapse I'm gonna try to do a little bit of off-camera planning and when we get back we'll probably discuss some of that. Uh, I might move the barracks. There's a decent little spot here by the storage area. I was talking about putting a, a blacksmith there, but I might, I might move that. I'm not totally sure just yet. So hopefully you guys enjoy the time lapse and I'll see you after it's done.
All right, so our wall is coming together. I did a little bit more than I was anticipating in the time lapse just because I was kind of experimenting with this in the creative world a little bit just because I had the exact dimensions of what I wanted to work with in the creative world. So I just decided, yeah, you know what? I already got a kind of similar design that I can work with and I made something happen. I put a window up in this tower and then I left that one windowless just to kind of see how it would look. I think I do need a window, but I think I'm actually gonna swap these out for iron bars instead of the spruce trap doors, mainly just because I want a little bit of a different look up there. I'm going to be texturing this little portion here, but I think before I texture that and this, now that I've got this portion of the wall done and I've got the little bit of the interior done, I might work on that off camera over there, that little portion of the wall, see what I want to get finalized over there. And then before I finish out this episode, I'm, I'm probably going to be trying to get this entrance squared away, get a little bit of a better slope in here, a little bit of a better gradient. So it's not so steep as you're coming up here. I still want to have it like the rock formation be like right there cut off maybe at the most, but I'm going to try to keep it kind of fairly slow slope down here just because I like the, how it looks have a roadway coming through here we might be working on this little bridge here next episode because I think it'll be kind of a cool little thing I don't want anything too crazy there I don't want it to take away from the castle but I definitely think it's something I can work on next episode I'm gonna take you guys up here to see how this thing looks up close because this wall does have a fair bit of openings there that I want to take care of and I want to explain why I have not really touched the back side of these things you can see this whole back end of the wall this back end of the wall is completely untouched take a quick nap but I left it untouched because I want to do some planning I'm not really sure how I'm going to transfer transfer the exterior part of the wall into the interior. I could do it block for block and make it look exactly the same as the exterior, but I'm not sure what kind of buildings I'm going to be placing in here, if they're going to be touching the wall, things like that. So I might want to wait until the entire exterior of the walls are done, or at least till I have some, at least some kind of plan is what I want for in the interior of this castle. So that if there is a building that touches the wall, I don't have to do any more, I don't have to tear anything down. I thought it'd be kind of a good idea to not have to do any extra work that I'm already having to do in this area. Being that we're on episode two of this castle, build and I want to get done within the next three we've got a little bit of a ways to go here so I got to really start pushing the walls out now that I got a design done it should be relatively easy I do know that I want these walls to be the same as these ones here so I'll probably do these off camera I'll work on these towers probably next episode or the episode after that just because I want to get a plan of how this building is going to be shaped in here because I do want like a too thick walkway around this area these towers might possibly be connected to the actual castle portion. I was thinking about putting like some archways, like diagonal archways right in here, just so there's a little bit of a walk through. And it'll be relatively small. It's not gonna be anything special, but that's just the plans for right now. But so far, so good. I'm gonna try to mess with these, get some iron bars in there to see if it looks any better, work on the gradient of the pathway leading up to the entrance, and I might be doing some off-camera work. So if all goes well, we'll be back in here and we'll kind of see just how far I've gotten. We'll try to, I'm trying to get as far as I possibly can in this episode, even though I really haven't done much. It feels like, like I feel like I've done a lot of work, honestly, but it's just, there's so much of the castle left that I need to be doing. Um, I'm, I'm kind of fine with like taking a little bit longer on these episodes. And that's what I want to ask you guys, actually. If you, are you guys cool with me taking a little bit longer on the castle if it, if it takes you know, a little bit longer. I really want to just push it out just because I think it'll you know, kind of challenge me to make more videos faster, get more content packed into an episode for you guys. Because I think this one right here was like a 30 minute build. That tower right there was probably like a 35, 40 minute build just because I forgot how to do it for some reason. And then those two there were another like 30 minutes, I think altogether. Maybe, maybe it was like that and those two were 45 minutes. I'm not totally sure. But, but yeah, I think I packed a lot of content in this episode. Let me know guys, what do you think? Should we take a little bit longer, take our time? Should we push out the castle as fast as possible? Challenge ourselves to build a little bit quicker? Let me know in the comment section. I really like to see what you guys think. So far, I'm pretty happy with how it's coming out and I have been pushing myself a little bit, but I could probably push myself a little bit harder to finish this thing. So I've been trying to work on the pathway coming up here and I think it's coming out all right. I like the transition. I like how it feels pretty smooth. I'm not so sure about all the stone that I've put in the pathway here, but for the most part, it's looking all right. Try to add a few little dips and things around here. I'll probably do something similar to that over here. I've been working on this section of the wall here, right over here. Exact same pattern as that part of the wall, just a little bit lower. And I've been bringing down the stone face a little bit to make it look like it's actually sitting on top of some sturdy foundation and I made it a little bit bigger we'll head over here and we'll kind of check it out from the interior a little bit I've got a little bit of a plan for a pathway going down there to Kings Valley I'm probably gonna have a pathway leading off in that direction and probably wrapping around the castle a little bit going over to the swamp area and then obviously we'll still have the path going over there towards the bridge to I don't know where just yet honestly but so far it's looking good I got the iron bars in there and I think it actually looks pretty good like that it makes it look a little different from these towers even though this does have a gate here 
here. Just kind of separates it that little bit much more. And you can see I got another tower planned here. I originally, I think I had it back here somewhere, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to have like a short tower and I might make it a little bit shorter. I'm not totally sure just yet, but I want to have like a little archway here leading into the barracks. And I made this a fair amount bigger just because I wanted a little bit more room to work in here. Maybe give them a little archery station over here, a little combat section, and then still have some room in here for some buildings, some sleeping quarters and things like that. I've also pushed this out quite a ways just to make it opened up here so we can fit a few more houses around in here, a few more buildings. Haven't really changed much up here. I was originally planning on doing this section of the wall here. That's why this part is kind of detailed out a little bit, but I remembered I had already built these tower or this tower and that tower before starting these wall sections and it kind of changes the dimensions just a little bit. You can see that's a five, that's a seven, that's a five, which is kind of similar to what we got over here. There's a three, there's a five, and then there's a, a few more fives. And that one's the same thing. It's a three, five, nine, five or something like that. And before I get those walls situated, I want to get these towers kind of put in here. So I know exactly the dimensions I have to work with for the wall. So it doesn't mess up the exterior portion right here. So you can see I have, I have it built on like an odd number is my plans for the castle to give me that cool looking little detail here. But I have a pillar here. We have two shorter pillars on each side. And then there is another little small little jut out here. But if it's an odd number, it works out good for me. If it happens to be that it's even, I don't know how well it's going to work. And then also it might look a little different from the rest of the wall. So I'm trying to keep them at an odd number. And if I know what the tower's total width is going to be as it's hitting the wall section, then I'll know what I have to work with. But I think that's kind of all the time I have for this episode, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to see you next episode. Make sure to let me know what you guys think about the episodes. I'll leave you guys with this little shot of the, the castle walls and the gatehouse here. Actually a pretty good. I'm probably going to take a screenshot myself of that. And remember, if you're brand new or you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the episode. Let me know what you think of the series. And I'll see you all next time here on King Z's Empire.